Hi, old Les, all of a sudden. It's interesting, isn't it? Passes the time. Oh. Well, you realise you're to an age. life's probably your goal, shall I? Well, you answered it yourself. I asked you about memories about your mum. And you told me, oh, people didn't talk then. Well, you've never talked. I know something. Some people's house. I've some got a very bad memory. I remember. Some people's house, actually. I never had because you... You don't throw us up in that sort of environment. You, you just carry on, don't you? I'm interested in what you thought, so. You were about the same age as me. When you had me, and when I had Luca, we were both about 32, 33. I, still, you, I think it aged a lot. What were your thoughts when you first found you out you are having your first baby? Were you? Yeah, well, yeah. From the first... Well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Well, maybe. Well, maybe you might have thought, oh... I'd like to wait, I'd like to have a few more years no, without no. kids. So you're made up? A lot of people got married younger than me. Yeah. So you felt you were already like a bit behind or whatever? Well, yeah, in a way. Mm. And there's circumstances as well. Circumstances. Your position, money, your life, your money. Would you have had worries about money when you told you having a baby? Oh, and you ate your books it up. Mm. It's all about it. It's a tough life when you think about it. Then you've got to look at yeah, what you do. Do you have a, try and have nice times or you fight all the while over money? And you've got to get a little house. Hey, once you get a house and you settle in, that's a, that's a big thing. To say I've got a house and it's, it's ours. You know what I mean? So you talk about Cantrell Farm. A Cantrell Farm, you mean? Well, anyway, anyway, I never thought I'd finish up with Cantrell Farm. Probably eat your money. But what was that like when you first moved there? Did it seem a good place to be? <laughs> yeah, everyone. Modern, clean. Everyone was young around us. Mm. It was okay, your mother was. And it used to be a thing. You got a thing. And it's just a thing. It's, it's money, you know. Whether you like it or not, it's money. I think the most of part of life is money. Worries about money. You've got to be careful what you think about earning it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how to Certain be. ways. Well, you must have a good job. You may say I was going to be rich. And you've got to get to it and things. Your life just an half chance. An half chance. What? When? Having children? When you get married. When you get married. Yeah, big yeah. How did it change for you? You've got to start taking more, then. Less about you, less selfish. What? Less selfish, you mean? That's a bit less selfish. Less selfish. Oh, it's enjoyable because you're doing things together all the while. And then again, that depends on the What did you do together? What things would you have in common? When you went out, you looked, you knew you were going to have a child, so you concentrated on Did my mum like a night out? Yeah, we started, probably enjoyable. What did she like to do if, she, if you went out? Just go for a drink and be with all the friends. Did she ever dance? We're mostly all the same. Barry, wife had a baby. Barry, Terry. John Edges was having one. I was just unfortunate. I had good friends. Because you'd find one of the house. I by then, you've got to know people, you know what I mean? And we'd all help one another. I think like, it's funny, but I think money comes into a lot of things. Yeah, it does. People don't, you wouldn't know how much someone had money or. People might have thought that I had good money. And, you know, it's just then what you do with it. Then you got your family to consider. Oh, where would that pressure it? come from? Why would you care about how much one well, of your you friends earned or whatever? Never told you. Mm. Okay, go bad and have a kid, then find out that you're struggling. Mm. You've got to sit down. It's it's hard. I'll be honest with one another to talk. Did you always agree? No. You and my mum? No. Certain things your mum would look after, certain things I'd look after. Were you the more careful one, you think? Uh, I 
I don't know whether to put that. I'd, I'd say a face, yeah, because you listen to people around you in work, and a lot of people in work, then, I mean, slightly different positions, buying cars and going out and things like that. So you, if you say, well, well, I want to do that. I want to go away abroad. I don't want to go and buy a car. Some people don't be lying on other people. What was my mum's attitude about holidays? Because we didn't Please, really have many holidays. Does she go? If you've got any sense, you just get together. You Why know? didn't we go away on a holiday? You just thought it was a, no, no. a needless hey, expense? I used to go to Wales, I used to give you the caravan. I think we went a couple of times. Well, right? a couple of times better than none. Right. I'm fortunate. I'll be in every good to me and my mum. It's, it's weird. I have to take it. I used to take it as. I mean, I used to listen to some of the fellas that see. And they had all, they had a way, and they fucking oh, used to be made up. They didn't have no responsibility, did they? Mm. You'd have to be there if you're away for months on end, and you just send them money every month. They That's were less same. involved. <laughs> what? They were less involved. But less... well, what a gather. Well, I had that, Christy, and he was, he was in there. <laughs> Probably a good example. But he always looks after drawings and the kids. Ah, oh, Christy was an half kind. Ah, mm. oh, Christy, you kind as anything. He always looks after his mother. It's weird, you got to work things out. What suits one doesn't suit someone else. What things would you differ about? What things would you disagree about with my mum about? Oh, God, God. Money or bringing what you, you do? What do you mean, you? No, what? Well, you know, I'm just talking about you. You're still young, married well, you're couple. you're young and have kids. Mm. Yeah, but I would have moved. But I would mm. And if you've got enough now to get out or do so, I think you've got to be on the same wavelength. What were you like with us as babies? Would you change nappies? Would you oh, well, yeah. feed yeah. during the night or whatever else? I'll change, you've got to. If you're not on the same way, then back at him. So my mum didn't do everything? Fine. Well, she jumped most of the things. Mm. She might just say, well, I'll do that. So there's going to be a time. Mm. But she's going to be tired. She loved going up to your nams and living with you and that, leaving you there. Nan and all them were all made up, so. No trouble, no trouble. It's exciting, life's always been the strange, it's no fucking piece of cake. What about when Mark came along? So that means you got two young, I'm three, almost. Oh, nice, what's your marriage one? Well, and you're a bit now, so you're kind of stupid, are you? I don't know, maybe it's... You've got a few bob, you can buy Not food. easy for everyone. Have you got somewhere to live? You're laughing, yeah, nice, right, it's hard. So people could look after themselves. What do you remember about me and Mark? I don't know when we were born. Were we? What was the differences as babies, or how we behaved, or whatever? Oh, we're entirely different. Huh? Yeah. I mean, as very young children. Yeah. Oh, Mark was a bit of a scally. Sometimes, point <laughs> after a while. But I don't mean you I forget don't... things like that. But what was his? His behaviour as a very young baby, child. <clears throat> How was he different from me? What was mine? What was his? Oh, I Did I cry more? Before. Would I eat better? Little things. No, you know. no. Far back was always sick, was he? <laughs> was he? Did he have more accidents than you? Maybe when he got older, but I'm, I That's mean... That's the scary part, when he gets sick. Do you remember when he fell over and he... Did he cut his chin? Oh, we had to I, rush him yeah, to yeah, Alderay yeah, Hospital. Yeah. Mm. It's a bit more wild, isn't it? <laughs> You're never going to be the same, are you? <laughs> and then a girl comes along for your money. Oh, okay, she's over the moon. She was over the moon with that. Oh, you're all right, yeah. Why was it such... Don't ask me. I don't know why it counts. Why was it... Not a big age gap, but... 
I came through this, what, four, four years after Mark for Jane? I'm old as Jane now. I don't try to take the place. Well, I think I'm seven years older than Jane. Oh, yeah. So this... Jane? Hmm? I don't try to take the face. It doesn't work that way for me, anyway. No, I don't mean it that way. But still, so between the children is the question. So Mark comes, what, two and a half to, to three years after me. It's OK. But then Jane comes four years one. after... Was that like a deliberate planning? Was Jane expected? You still wanted? I think we one? tried for a girl, I'd have to say that. Mm. The nice thing is, it. you can wish all you like, can't you? If it doesn't happen, it doesn't really happen. But I always think that you want to, it's nice if you got a son and a daughter. Mm. I think so. Well, have you got lads, if you got girls? What's the pick? Okay. Yeah. I think I'm a fella, I don't know. I think it's just better. Uh, it's life that matters. It's whether your, your life gets better or it goes worse or what. Why did, did you decide to move from Cantrell Farm? What were the reasons <laughs> and why did you choose? Greenod, where we moved no to. Idea. I seem Greenod. to remember Croxford Park. I seem to remember going to see some houses in Wigan or Widnes. Oh, we went all over the place. Do you remember because that? of the place. We were building the same houses hmm. in Wigan. You are? Okay. No worries. It's rocky way. They're crocky and things like that. They were cheaper. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew a lot of lads who lived out that way. I think you would have knew, for, I'm not called, because I used to say, a lads come in to me and said they're building houses, nice houses. Where's <laughs> that? What was my mum's attitude about moving she towards? Was, obviously, every woman wants her own place. But would she have been happy to move to somewhere like Witness? Yeah, yeah. She would have done? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. As far as I know, if you get a nice house, it settles out. So had you saved some money up there then? Never, well, the way it goes, life's not what always what you want, is it? <coughs> I used to listen to the lads of work, and I used to say, the fucking hell has he got a house out there? And then you come over, you might talk about it, but you would have seemed to know more about witness than I did. I didn't never knew about witness. Mm. I knew about the Ford Club and the area. It was a big productive area. Where's the Ford Club? It was in witness. Was it? And when I worked. What's the Ford place Club? What's town. that? The social place. What? What's Ford Club? What's that? A social. Yeah, social club. But he built it out. Did you play football there? Where? At this four club. Four club then? Yeah. Me and Mark went to watch you play football once and we sat on a big grass bank watching the football from my memory. Was that at Ford? Oh yeah, I don't know. Hey, that never plays football grass. Hey, they have it. No, no. But Ford was, <coughs> where they built Ford, it was all new ground and everything. Mm. So they were all going out there because it was near to Manchester. Houses were pretty cheap. And they were queuing up for them. I'd never heard of it. I said, where? Mm. I thought I'm going out there. The it's stupid alleys take you, you're going to be isolated. How did you hear about the one in Croxford Park then? Just saw an advert for it? Well, it was that far then, wasn't I? It's pretty close to Cantrell Farm. I'm sure for lads. Someone told me, then you heard about it in the paper. The, the, I knew the park. I used to run at the park, so I knew where the park was. You run? Yeah, we used to in the LVA. They had running it. They had cross country running every year. You used to go to Crocs Park for that? Well, that was the... <laughs> that was the... Uh, 
The gardeners of Liverpool crackly park. Yeah, they thought it was too far away for you. And they would, didn't they? They would, they used to always go out there for a walk every Sunday. Did she? Yeah. Well, why were we in Cantrell Farm? Oh, well, when she lived over the road, didn't she, you know that? Boscale, you mean? What? When she was in Boscale? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's close, isn't it? I didn't know. I knew of it. And that first thing I had about it, you can't afford what it's about. It's when I first see it. It was a get one of them. When you go for a bigger one, it weren't that much difference, were they? But you don't be too greedy. Mm. I always thought about that. I used to say, if I'm going to fucking buy one, I'm going to buy a good one. Uh, funny, it's funny. I think it's funny. Funny. Life. Dead funny. Uh, they get talking to a crowd of fellas, season fellas, and their whole aim is like that when they first get married to buy houses. What do you want to buy a house for? There's nothing in the house. You don't always finish up with what you get to you. So we used to go up there every Sunday to have a look around. Mm. Mm. And it's Yoda there, I think it's Yoda and there's flat night and food, isn't it? Sort of a house. Brian only had it all flat. And Brian had a good job. He was an electrician originally. Yeah. originally. Yeah, well, his electricians and electricians, isn't it? Mm. What about football? What? He always played football. Who, uh, me? Yeah. Yeah. What positions, what were your very first positions you remember playing? Oh, I don't know, I played forward. I just followed me to the left half. Correlation. I love football. You're left footed? Yeah. And a bit of the right. Mostly left? Yeah. Why was that, you think? No idea. No idea. But left footers are still quite rare, aren't they? What? Well, being left-footed is still quite rare. Yeah. Most people are right-footed. Yes, you don't realise it. Were you quick? I was. I was a slow. <laughs> Good in the air? What was your... I used to learn to have a ball. I mean, who was it first told me? I used to play for Leeds Jones when I was a man. Probably, probably only young. And we had this... Oh. What was his name? He was a boxer, a boxing coach. Mm. Mr. Walker. But his name of the game was more boxing. Did you ever try that? Yeah. Even training? No, I don't think it was cut out of me. I used to have a gym as well, didn't we? Certain fellas doing boxing. And uh, I don't know. We used to only play the back street. And we played for the school at Wally Hall. Mm. So I uh, went on the left. Well, we used to kick with the left, obviously. It's funny, you know, football and that. Did your brothers play football? Ah, oh, Christian, but yeah, Christian, uh, he got me leg. <laughs> he fell over, she went to a parsley chase out on the road or something. And he fell over and broke his leg. No Alvy, no Georgie, John. But they were older than us. So they so may have played as kids. They were counselors, I don't know. I don't remember that. Alvy used to think he could play. I think that John plays. Ah, Chris, he used to have photographs of him in the arm. Mm. Funny that, you got a big crowd of friends. They used to be your mates. If you with them, you stuck with them. Did you ever want to ask particularly your older brothers, maybe, about your dad. What was your dad like to them? They all thought highly of him. He did? Yes. Had he been a good dad? He was only a young age, but I... You don't talk, but they, they come and go. Every people die by the minutes, then. That's true. But wouldn't you have felt as a, a young boy that... How conscious of you were you that you, you didn't have a dad? Oh, very conscious. I mean, you, your friends, most of your friends would normally 
nobody got divorced then, everyone was married, they had a mom no. and a dad, and you, you didn't have a dad. It was Harry Zivai. Harry, same age, he's a bit older than me. Mm. He had a brother named Johnny, and a little brother named Robbie. So Johnny, <laughs> used to go to my used to go with our Christy, right? Mm. I used to go away to Harry, and it was Christopher Grail, there was ten of them. I remember that name. Christopher Grail, he was only little. <laughs> he, I don't remember him. And Vinny, and I can't remember Vinny, he used to play for us, but I couldn't say I would remember him for playing football, but he went to a different school. So his oldest brother, Christy, went for our Christy, yeah. and I went with Vinny. Yeah. That he was. Who yeah. was, Ah, Christy wouldn't let me with him. He used to chase me. Never went with Ah, Christy. How much older is he than you? Well, he was two, three years old. Only two or three years, is it? Oh. Only two or three years? About three years, yeah. Okay, I always thought it was a bit more than that. Ah, uh, he wouldn't let me go near him. Well, going back to what you said before, you were conscious, very conscious of not having a dad. What difference do you think it meant to you as a oh, boy growing up? Oh, terrible, terrible. How do you miss something you've never had in a way? What does I it make you feel? I mean, you know, I was fucking kids at school, had fathers, mm. not everyone, because it was the war broke out. Mm. Your dad was very bad for years, but twice a while I always remember him out. In and out of hospitals with him. With what? Do you know what his illness was? TB again? I think it was TB, yeah. Mm. I don't know, I used to say, I've never seen our John and Josie. Did you feel like any of them were almost substitute fathers to you? Well, to our just brothers? didn't have a father. No, okay, but they were much, in a way, much older than you. Did you ever see them as kind of like a father? I've seen them Did they act like father figures to oh, you? Oh, right, yeah. They were top Who men, they particular? were bosses. I never missed there. You could have opened up, but I was a father. Your mother takes over. Mm. And I was terrible. I'm terrible, my mother. What do you mean, terrible? Oh, oh. Strong. Oh. Strong, you mean? Yeah, Discipline. terrible, terrible. Very strict? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what kind of strict? Strict. In what way? Give them that much you eat. Look, it's strict, just strict. Wouldn't let you do anything. Mm. I don't know what kind of strict. She was strict. Did Georgie you act like? I remember. It? If you think about it, What's up? the lads, the fathers of that age, didn't really get involved mm. with the kids. Mm. He was there, and that was it. Mm. <laughs> but Danny, Mr. Devine, he, he died. Mr. Devine. I remember going to that man's funeral. Christopher Gray, he had nine. His father went, done his life with paint. You could know when he went out, big man he was. That was just the way it was. Mm. I, I don't think the fellas bothered a lot. Mm. Like they did later on, it's like taking the kids out or doing like that. Do you think it affected how you were as a dad? If you never had one? Yeah, I was a fixer, yeah. I just figured I'd take the kids over there. When your mother takes over, my mother took over. How do, you think it, how do you think it affected your personality? What, what your person? Well, how would your personality have been if you'd been at a dad? What did you make you feel? Well, your character. Just accept it. Hmm. Oh, Maggie was strict there. Never seen. I never. How old was that? I'll be very. I remember our army going in the army. I remember John. He must have been old as he is here because I can't remember him being that old. I mean, he never lived for us. Mm. John? Yeah. Or as yours. Mm. I only remember them when they were married. Yeah. So when you had children, do you think it affected how you were as a father? Because I always remember you had... Well, you had lots of time, I think. Looking back, you don't... You had lots of time for well, You were always there for us. You used to come and watch us play football every week. Oh, why? Well, that was a thing done then. 
Do you, you think kids? that's affected because you never had that? Did you miss your father? Oh, no, not... yeah, yeah. But I never talked to that number. I think a lot of the lads that I went with then, the fathers never went to see the play footy. It was only when I was oh, 12. Yeah. How old would that have been? They used to just let you get on with things. Mm. Unless you were fucking cheeky. But why did you want to go and watch your boys play football, for instance, in a way that... Was, that was calm then. That was where life changed then. Probably fellas were made up, the young kids growing up, mm. play football. Well, you say that, but again, looking back, actually, there was only a handful of dads who used to go and watch us, wasn't there? There was oh, you. Well, Do you remember there was you? Yeah. Ian Brady's dad. Yeah. Stephen Hale's dad. Yeah. Joseph Connolly's dad sometimes. Yeah, there was a few one well, dads. There wasn't really. I think there's only there's only ever three Don't or four dads. Why, yeah, I understand what you're saying. There were some <coughs> boys then whose dads almost never came to see them. And yet you well, would every I, week. When I play for the school. Did well, you enjoy a watching us play? Come to watch us. I know. We, daddy. But you're saying it's because know. times have changed, but oh, it isn't for everybody. Uh, yeah. I think when I was just after you lot had changed because fellas used to be made up then. If you talk about it, nobody used to come and watch us. Men used to come and watch us. But not a lot of fellas we already do. What about so you say you just accept you didn't have a father? But even more than that, you grew up in a household with full of women. Your mother was a very strong character. You've got two elder sisters who were almost like substitute mothers. What was it like growing up around lots of women? Did you feel no, that? It was like that? You just take that's the way it is, don't you? Well, looking I back. Had a, yeah, well, I'm like, just was, look the at the old, was the oldest. Yeah. And she was very, very... I still good don't know who comes between who. I still don't remember the order of your brothers and sisters. George is the eldest. George what? George is the eldest, yes? Well, I never used to see him because he was married. That's not what I'm asking you. Put your brothers and sisters in the order they were born. George is number one, first, yes? George, John. Oh, Billy. I had a Billy. Is George John number two? Yeah. I, 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 Who's I'm after John? Sure. But if we had twins like that, I can't remember that one. Okay. But who's after John? I'll be as far as I know. Where did Billy uh, fit in? What? Where did Billy fit in? Billy was older, must have been older than John. You sure? Yeah, Do you remember him? He, he took, this is a guess, this. When he was 18, and he had to go. Apparently I wanted to go with in, in the Navy and he had a bad lungs and that, and he couldn't go. Do you remember him? Did you ever meet him? I remember that, Billy. I'd read here like me. Oh. And I'll be Christy, and I'll be Billy, me, Maggie, I'd read here. Were there any photos of Billy? No. The only people who might have them are Maggie. The only one who's had them, jeez, I try to remember them all. He yeah, had Billy. So Georgie, Billy, then John. Who comes after John? I think I might be wrong. It might be Georgie, John, and then Billy. Okay. Who's next? Maggie. Yeah. Be Maggie. And then Mary, and then Christy. No, Maggie. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure he was so. What's the age Maggie. difference between Maggie and Mary? Maggie's older, she's told. Never bothered me the age. I knew <laughs> Bob was older than you there. Nothing bothered you? Well, I can't remember. As I said, I think I remember our Billy. Mm. I remember him dying. I don't know whether it was someone else's dying. Do you remember your dad dying? Our oh, Maggie knew everything. That was it. I knew stuff to the rest of it. How did you feel? What were your feelings when Billy died then? I was only a kid. I don't, don't have 20 feelings like that. You sure? Yeah. 
But he died after your dad. Oh, now you're taking, now you're going, I don't know. Do you have any memories of your dad? No, very few. Well, do you have any? No, not really. You can't remember him, his funeral or anything? I think I remember him getting buried. Never go to fall. But I can't remember, because we moved to uh, where was it? Oh. Eighty, didn't we? And we moved from eighty back in. It was that time during the war. It was that time during the Blitz. I remember. And I was only a kid. I've got his. I think I was three. Hold on a second. Don't talk. What are you 